In this video, we'll be going over how point bindings work and how to update them. Finstack offers you three different ways to set up your point bindings. One of those options is called relative by tags. Relative by tags means that when the graphic is loaded, the virtual point within the graphic will look at your current equipment and find a point that matches a certain set of tags. Once a match is found, the virtual point will begin to grab its value from that selection. If you ever need to check and see what set of tags a point binding is looking for, you can simply go to your virtual points panel, open the drop down for that point, and take a look at the binding property. As an example, let's take a look at this Chillwater Valve's virtual point binding property. The first part of the binding is basically telling it to look for a point that points at the same exact equipment that is currently loaded, and then after that, it has a set of tags that it's going to look for. If we look at the chill water valve point in our database, we can see that it has several tags. Specifically, we can see that it has tags such as cool, valve, water, command, and point. If we go back to the graphic, we can see that the chill water valve virtual point is looking for exactly those tags. Okay, so let's say your virtual point binding was originally created with, those, with that set of tags, but since then, the database point has had a few changes done and it no longer has the cool tag. So I'm going to go over here to my database and delete the cool tag for this example. Now if we go back to the graphic and click on preview mode, you'll see that the cooling coil disappears. And that's because the virtual point is still looking for a cool tag, so since it couldn't find a match, it degraded itself. This is a very common issue with virtual points that are relativized by tags, especially since tags can change quite often during the first stages of setting up a database. Well, luckily we make it easy for you to update your virtual point bindings by utilizing a tool called the Update Bindings tool. The Update Bindings tool can be found in the Graphics Builder menu on the right side by clicking on the Virtual Points tab. Towards the top of the Virtual Point menu, you will see an option called Update Bindings. When you click on the Update Bindings, it will bring up a new window that allows you to choose which virtual points you'd like to update. And it also allows for you to choose and select how you want to update the binding. So in this case, we'll pick all of our points and then we'll select the relative by tags option and hit update. If the tool can't automatically match up a virtual point to any of the points under that equip or your context, it will ask you to select the point manually. Once you are done, the tool automatically updates the virtual point bindings based on what they currently are in the database. As you can see, our chill water valve point now has an updated binding and is able to find a match when we view it live. Okay, so now let's go over to the second available binding option, which is relative by nav name. This is the most common and highly recommended option, especially since nav names don't typically change as much as tags do. So let's go ahead and switch the virtual point bindings in this graphic to be relative by nav name. To do this, we can simply fire up the update bindings tool select all of the graphics virtual points, and then select the relative by nav name option. Once again, it will ask you to manually select any points it cannot automatically match up on its own. Once that's done, all of your virtual point bindings should now reference a specific nav name instead of the tags that were there previously. Okay, so let's say somewhere along the lines you change a point's nav name in your database. You may notice that the point can no longer be found through the graphic. If that's the case, just remember to go back in and update your virtual point bindings, which should take the current name and automatically update the binding. The final option is Absolute by ID. If you select this option, all of your points will be hard-coded to one specific point ID. So if you select this option, uh, any point that you update to be Absolute will reference one specific point ID, meaning it's not going to be relative. This is really common for graphics such as a chiller or a central plant or in the scenarios where you just need one point to be hard-coded across a relative graphic. But the process for this should be the same as the others. So all you need to do is hit the update bindings option, select your points, and then hit update. Obviously you'll have to manually fill out the ones that it couldn't do automatically, but once that's done, your virtual point bindings will now have a hard-coded point ID. Alright, well those are all the basics on how virtual point bindings work and how to update them. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on the details discussed throughout the tutorial, please feel free to contact us at support at j2inn.com.
Thanks for watching.